Nice to meet you. I'm Ebony. I'm talking about my endoscopy, colonoscopy and my stuff. And I have orange hair and I live in the bush. I feel like we're friends now. I mean, I'm not wearing any makeup. I have orange dye in my hair. Oh, and on my face, a good one. And I don't have a script as such. Today's video for me is just about getting off my butt and trying to do something with my YouTube channel that I intended to do for a long time. Just share my life, my experiences, my failures, my dreams, my passions, lessons learnt. I guess I'm trying to teach myself a little bit of a lesson in procrastination and perfection and all that kind of stuff because you know, I don't have makeup on and it's not really nice to sit here with the spotty face but you know what it doesn't matter right now this me sitting on the couch with my hair dye waiting for it to like do its thing and have no makeup on this is my life this is part of my life and this is what I'm doing right now so For the past few months I feel like I've been struggling with focus, concentration, uh, energy levels and things like that. I, I had some pancreatitis in February and then I went on like a low fat diet for a month the doctor said like to give my pancreas a break and then I just wasn't feeling better. Uh, I wasn't in pain pain but I wasn't feeling better and I'm like bloated all the time and I think there's something digestive wrong. Anyway, long story short. I'm super tired and lethargic and I have good days and other days I just like want to collapse on the couch. Um, one second I feel like I'll be talking to my husband and the next I'll just be like, like just, yeah, reenactment. <laughs> like I don't have anything to give. So it makes it really hard to like, you know, sit down and plan videos after being at work all day and I want to plan like you want to get the most out of what you're doing and why you're doing it but at the same time I'm I get home and then you, you got to do some dishes or something and like pick sus dinner out or take the dog for a walk or tidy up something whatever and then all that concentration capacity is just gone so I haven't done what I wanted to with my YouTube channel which I'm probably going to end up repeating myself from previous videos, but my dad died and I realized that, you know, what if I die? And my like unborn grandchild at the time didn't know who I was. It's just gone two years and I've put things up on Facebook. I've put bits and pieces up and I, I've recently in the last three months started doing try it Tuesdays where it's just like a few minutes of a, of a video and I'm eating something or drinking something, just something I've, like I walk past in the grocery store and I've never tried before and I go, you know what? I don't care if you think you'll like it, get off your butt and try it. Like, I know it's a little thing. I know it's only tiny. Like there's so much other big things in the world we can do and try and experience, but sometimes you've got to learn to crawl before you walk kind of thing. So for me, those little trite Tuesdays were about practicing and, you know, being on camera and editing and routine. That's been super hard when you're so tired and lethargic and you just don't have any concentration. So, kind of horribility to speak, apparently. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's not great. I've had, um, last week I had, here we go. I had an endoscopy and colonoscopy on Thursday and on the Friday I had an MRI. On the Monday before that I got tested for genetic, I'm sure the piece of paper said genetic pancreatitis but I'm pretty sure it's genetic cystic fibrosis. It's a rare gene that can cause pancreatitis. Anyway, because I'm not an alcohol, I'm not an alcohol, <laughs> ebony, smooth drink. Um, I'm not an alcoholic and I don't have gallstones, which are the two major things. So they're trying to look for other things. And then a couple of weeks before that, they did a whole barrage of tests. Oh, look, I don't think it's, you can slowly see that. This is just from last week, mind you. But I did have a bunch of tests done a couple of weeks ago, like seven vials, which there's probably people with other medical kit additions out there that have a lot more than that. But, um, yeah, they were testing me for all sorts of bits and pieces. And anyway, the endoscopy and colonoscopy, 
they said looked pretty good, um, which I should be happy about. I should be, I don't know I should, but I was sad. I think there was such build up to having this done and to finally figuring out why I've been feeling the way I've been feeling. So when you wake up and they talk to you and you say, yeah, that all looks good. You're like, okay, but there's something not right here. There's something not working. Like, Excuse the dirty singlet because, like, you know, I'm doing hair dye. You don't have your pretty clothes on when you're doing your hair dye. Um, there's my boobs and under your boobs and you've got your pancreas up and under here. And and I, I, I maybe I don't, I don't think it's working properly. Or if it's not, it's something else. Because I'm eating food and it just feels like it's stuck here. Like it, it just can't. <laughs> oh, yeah. It can't go down, you know, so um, you have to eat food and like I get hungry or I have a craving, but separate of your cravings, you have to eat food. So I eat food, but then I feel crap um, and it's not fun. Like I love food. Food is like a big part of my life. It makes me happy and it's not right at the moment. So when they said everything on the endoscopy and colonoscopy looks good or ga gastroscopy, I learnt this. And endoscopy is the term for any camera entering into your body via mouth, other holes, surgical cut, but gastroscopy is down the throat. And colonoscopy is, whew, it's not that bad. It's not gross. Get over it. Okay, also, I actually got to see some of my insides via the colonoscopy. As I was being wheeled in, I saw the screen that they would be watching the camera while it was in my insides having a look. And I said, is it weird that I want to see that? And the lady goes, well, you can through some of your colonoscopy. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so they, they knock you out for the gastroscopy because, you know, it's uncomfortable to be awake. And they keep you apart. Uh, sorry, keep you awake for the first part of your colonoscopy, not because of the insertion, but because of the camera having to move around your body internally uh, to get to where it needs to go, and that can be apparently quite um, painful and uncomfortable. So I kind of woke up for like the last little bit after I'd already done that and it wasn't as such a big a deal, and I kind of woke up and was like, oh, hello, <laughs> and there's the screen, and I could see my guts. <laughs> Um, it was a bit surreal so yeah nice to meet you I'm Ebony I'm talking about my endoscopy colonoscopy and my stuff and I have orange hair and I live in the bush I feel like we're friends now I mean honestly why be shy though it's just medical stuff and people hear the word colonoscopy and go ooh, you know because it's your butt but um, but but <laughs> But this is, um, but grow up, said the lady with orange hair. This is medical and then trying to figure out why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. And the scary part for me is in less than a hundred days, I can't even, I can't even, in less than a hundred days, I'm going on a five week trip with my husband, his parents and my mum to America and Canada. And I'm so worried that I'm going to bring everyone down because I I can struggle with a normal quiet day here what am I gonna do energy wise five weeks of traveling like I just and the first two weeks are kind of full-on like we're going to San Fran for two days then we're going to Washington for three days then we're going to New York for three days then we're going to Niagara for a day then we're going to Calgary for two days and then we begin like a Rocky Mountain -y uh, train Rocky Mountain in train but for the first handful of days is like buses in between places and we're going on a helicopter which is amazing and yeah then we get to Vancouver and we've got a few days there and then we fly to Anchorage and then we come on a cruise down the coast which sounds cruisy right but every second day you're pretty much doing like a shore excursion which is going to be full on so it would just be really nice if we could figure out what's going on physically. 
I'm kind of hoping this video will be really quick and easy to edit. Seems I seem to have just ad-libbed the entire thing. I don't know how long it'll be. I don't know how much I should cut out. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll get to the end of this and go, no, no, you're not putting that on YouTube. Like, but then the multiple personalities kick in and go, but you've been procrastinating, but it's not procrastinating. You haven't been feeling well and you have, but you haven't planned right or who knows what. And this is like the eternal argument that's going on in my brain. Like for the last two and a half, two years, let alone the last six months since I've been a bit unwell. So that's the point of this. I just have to do it. And I don't know. I feel like some of the even like boring days of my life, which is, it's still my life. You know, I, I live in the bush in Western Australia and I love it. I went to a fire this morning. what do you do? Like it could be anything. It could feel really boring, but I don't know, you realise that there's stuff that maybe not everyone does or gets a chance to experience or they just live in a completely different area. So, yeah, I want to share. I mean, okay, I want to share for my granddaughter, but if anyone else feels like watching me, like, dribble on, I, I don't want to niche down my channel. I've thought about that. I'll have to make a video about that head fuck um. because that's been screwing with me. Um, because how, you know... The thing is, if you niche down, oh, I'm already going to start my other video. I can't do that. Anyway, I'll make a different video about that. But I don't want to niche down because in theory, you niche down if, you know, you have one particular passion and you want to make a channel just about that and good for you. Or you niche down if you want to be super successful because you'll get a very specific and dedicated audience and you'll have a better chance at let's say, add a revenue or merch or, um, I don't even know, making money in alternative ways. If I make money from YouTube in any way ever, bonus, bonus. If I could leave my, love my job, love you guys. If I could leave my job legitimately one day and um, make videos of sharing uh, my life or travel or whatever the fruitcake I'm doing, great. But until then, I just need to make videos for me and I need to make them for my granddaughter and my family and old lady me. That's the idea, just in case. Um, and so I figure if I stay true to the reason why I started YouTube in the first place, that will hopefully make me happy. And then if something kind of organically grows from there, if I, I go down a particular path, then great. And if not, I don't know. But I just had to start. And even though I started with my Try Tuesdays, I needed to start this. I needed to start sharing more than me tasting some bits and pieces, which I love. I found Reese's peanut butter ice cream. Check that one out. Um, but yeah, I needed to start more. So yeah. All right, well, it's about time that I go wash this out and attempt to get the orange off the side of my face. This is actually mixed with conditioner, so it actually ends up being like light and not so, this won't stain so much. Cross fingers. <laughs> so I will put up a video picture at the end of how it looks when it's all nice and pretty. But don't be betting on the makeup because it's bedtime and ain't nobody got time for that. But apparently we've got time to itch our nose. If you even made it this far, <laughs> and you don't know me, and this is your first video of mine, thank you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> if you want to share anything with me at all in the comments, um, medical or about hair colour or life, about get stuck, about oh, blah, 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 see, I can't, about getting stuck in your own brain, feel free. If you want to share, like, negative, nasty comments, well, you know, good for you and go jump. Thank you for watching and don't be afraid to be who you are.